All right, guys. Happy Saturday. We got this thing filled. Let me just put this in the Discord. Almost there, guys. I didn't even look at who's uh, in the live stream. We are good to go. That's not the last one. Alright, my test, my point. One, two, three. Alright. We have audio confirmation. I think it is time to get down to business. What do you guys think? All right, so we have 2021-22 uh, Merlin Chrome Hobby, the purple boxes from not this past set, but the set before that. AKA the second Merlin Chrome set. And it's the one where they introduced uh, Renaissance and Matchbox. <clears throat> A little chillier than usual today. But here are all the spots and everyone who owns the spots. So thanks everyone who helped us fill this. Pretty straightforward. I don't think I'm gonna go through these one by one. But I'll give it a few more minutes till we actually start to break. Just gonna get more people this. We should be should be good to go. All right, guys. Almost didn't think this was gonna happen today, but that was the plan. It was gonna happen one way or another. Hopefully, I don't have that much camera shake. Oh, we got rid of that last time. Okay, it's just the cable here. Kind of annoying a little bit. Alright, I think I think we should be okay. Alright guys, it is go time. We don't have a filler in this, so we're not gonna do any of that. But 
Yeah, I also think it's a weird time of day to do this. A lot of people are probably watching uh, soccer games. Everyone's probably out, family and stuff. But let's get right into this one. All right, guys. We have one box that's flipped. I actually want to set this one to the side, see if there's anything special about that one. If there's anything special on that one, it is going to be a match ball, would be my guess. Actually, let's keep this one flipped like that so we know which box that was. All right. Now that that's out of the way, let's make two equal towers, and I think that is going to be it. All right, make it nice, nice and tidy. Are we in the center of the screen? I think we are. What up, goal sided? Thanks for joining the stream. Nice of us to cross paths in Discord land, I guess. All right. Um, let me see. Wait, you have a spot in this, right? Pretty sure it's the one of the trio spots, like Porto, Sevilla, Sociedad. All right, guys. Without further ado, good luck. Here is Hobby Box number one. I did say yesterday that we we're gonna do the 10k giveaway reroll because there's still a couple prizes that haven't been claimed. Did say we we're gonna do it today. Might have to wait till tomorrow, honestly. Running on a tight schedule, but it never stopped us before. All right, what do we got in this one? First box is always a warm up, so we're gonna do pack by pack. And then for the rest of the break, we are going to do the typical break style. First insert, Curtis Jones. Can't have breakfast pulling any muscles. That's very, very correct. Don't want that to happen. All right, still no numbered card. It's only the third pack in. That's our refractor. Actually, I might as well just sleep these while we're at it. Uh, I think that's gonna make the break way longer than it should be. We shall do it after the stream. All right, there's Weston McKenney. And our first numbered card is gonna be the Speckle. Ooh, ooh, Cole Palmer, rookie. 007, James Bond, I love to see it. And we to start the group break off. Got to put this in a 55 point top loader. Look at that. International Man of Mystery. Man, when this set came out, I don't think anyone was expecting Cole Palmer to end up being that good. I mean, we knew like he was talented. He was pretty good. Oh, oh no way, no way. What is going on? <laughs> oh my God. What? My goodness. Little messy renaissance. What in the world? 
I did not see that coming. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> wow. What in the world? Wait, did these I'm trying to find the right top loader for? It. I'll put in a 55 point just in case, but I think these are regular. There's some little like uh fuzz here that can be easily cleaned. I'm just trying to see if I can rub it off, but all right, there we go. Wow, who had the messy PSG spot? All right, that's what came off the card. It's stuck on my finger now. Oh my god. <laughs> Tempo card zone. Congratulations and welcome back, my friend. It's been a while since you joined these breaks. Look at that. This is like pack number three. We haven't even... Look at how many boxes are left. And we have one box that was like flipped upside down, which I'm guessing has the match ball, but... My goodness. Lionel Messi. Renaissance. Already. Came out of nowhere. I wasn't even expect. I, I thought it was going to be another like refractor or another insert. Whew. All right. We still have 12 boxes left. We're not even 11.75 or whatever you want to call it. <laughs> yeah, first box is a warm up. It's pretty accurate. Ooh, there's Anthony back in his Ajax days. Before he started fidget spinning at menu. All right, we got another speckle. Rookie Vanderson for Monaco. 34 out of 150. We couldn't get another 007 James Bond. Going to Ruben. Oh, there's our autograph. Let's let that one marinate. You already recognize it. You already recognized it, but no idea what to expect. There's KDB, Refractor. Man, I have not seen this set in a... I don't say I haven't seen this set. I haven't seen these hobby boxes in a very long time. Personally. I think Tempo Card Zone is going to be pretty pleased. There's good old... Decky Rice before he went to Arsenal. Can we actually get two renaissances in this case? We just have to wait and see. I imagine if you're getting two, maybe, potentially, it would be numbered. Alright, there's Chuameni. That is the Rookie Chase in Monaco. Pretty sure that's why Ruben probably picked it up. All right, what is this? We have yellow, yellow wave. There's Matisse Tell rookie, FYI, if you didn't know. We got Husim Awar. Or Lyon, 93 out of 225. Wow, for the first time, just a base pack. It's definitely not going to be an auto, but Zlatan Refractor. And Zlatan Base is hiding behind him. Auto for a blue team. Is that Matteo Pessina? Yeah, I've seen this auto way too many times. 
There it is for Atalanta. Congrats, Justin. And most of his autos are going to have something like this. I don't know why. It's like just him or what, but. There we go. First autograph. All right, box number two. Started off with a banger. Two of those in here. All right, now we're gonna do break side. Anyone got any? Uh, I feel like I always ask this on on the weekend. Does anyone have any crazy plans for the rest of the day or tomorrow? Justin says, my boy Samaka got to start. Scored their only goal last week. I feel like I haven't seen him play in a while. What up, TQ? Says we'll check the recording when he's back home. All right, man. Hopefully we pull some banger AC Milan stuff for you. I personally would love to see it as well. No bias. Could this be a super fracture case, guys? Have to wait and see. Yeah, I forget how many like packs are in these compared to like Panini Hobby boxes or maybe even breakaway boxes. It takes for it takes forever to get to the meat of the box all at once. Yeah, I'll agree on that, Justin. Certainly has not lived up to his hype, unfortunately. So it seems like all the autos might sneak up on us like that, like the Pacina. So you gotta be maybe not too slow, but extra careful here. There's Mbappe, insert. I mean, these could be autos as well. I mean, they're all hiding in plain sight. Okay, Frankie Dion. Tillman. Yeah, I just feel like it's gonna pop up out of nowhere again. There's McKinney. I forgot Dane Scarlow was in this. Whatever happened to that guy? Nice. Shuameni, rookie, refractor. Mr. Aurelion. Let's move these over here for now. All right. What do we got? We got our first numbered card coming up. That is going to be our auto for Stad. Who's Who has autos in Stad in this year? Well, look who it is, Anthony Elanga. Sure. 192 out of 225. Rookie. Also forgot this was his rookie year. So Cole Palmer and Elanga so far for numbered cards. Sian Oblak. Oh, Raheem Sterling was still at City in this set. 
All right, we got Roma. Nicolo Zaniolo. Also going to Justin. 98 out of 99. Nice Matisse Tell Refractor. Nothing too crazy. Still a refractor. We have Cristiano Ronaldo, Ageless Alchemy. Actually, I'm going to take the refractors that we sleeved. I'll put them in a separate pile for the recap. I think that was just a William Dillap. All right. Let's put these over there. Where are all the other numbered cards? Luka Sucic. Pina Gaian. We need at least one more numbered card. There it is. Paul Pogba. Not going to see this guy play for probably, what was it, like four years? Professional football. He might just play, I don't know, beach soccer or something. Who knows? I'd lose my mind if I had a band like that on me for four years. All right. And what is the autograph going to be? feel like, wait, I thought it was someone, but it's not. Someone else. Wait, who is this guy? Jonas, Martin, or Stad. All right, so nothing too wild from the auto department. Hold on, let me just take these base off screen off the table. Wait, they're on the screen anyway, yes. I guess off screen. Goal sighted, you stepped away when we pulled this one from the like third pack. I don't know if you were here for that. Renaissance case hit Lionel Messi. It's pretty wild. Yeah, nothing, nothing crazy since then, I guess. I'm trying to take these out so it's easier to break these down after the break. Could just do it after. One, two, three, four. All right, this is box number three. Got a long way ahead of us. Hello only soccer. It says, do you remember me? Yes, I do. <laughs> Might not be a lot, but definitely do. What up, Godzi? I'm having to flip these. This we're just going to do it like that. Seems to work fine. I think we've only done a case of this when it came out. Maybe a personal, 
here and there, but we've definitely done a lot of these blasters. And if I, if anyone wants to purchase um, one of these boxes, not one of these ones specifically that are part of the break, but you know, separate hobby boxes or blasters, let me know on Instagram or the Discord. We can figure it out, shipped or a personal. Just let us know. Bastoni refractor. Ooh, nice little mojo out of 99 here. For Real Madrid, it is an auto. Eduardo Camavinga. Already saw enough of it that I wasn't going to set it down. Look at that. Nice, clean Camavinga auto. 40 out of 99. What a brilliant young talent. There it is. Put him instead of Cole Palmer over here. All right. What else do we have in this? Wait, two? Oh man, I thought that was another auto for some reason. But I think that is Shola Shola. Oh, it's not Shola Shola Tire. Is this even his year? We got Hannibal out of 99. Somewhat similar hair to Shola. 47 out of 99. Would have been pretty sick to have two autos. That would just mean someone got shorted an auto somewhere in the world. And for Chelsea, Crack dice out of 50. We have Kai Havertz before he left. What up, Doodle? 141 out of 250. Lewa. Sergio Ramos. Vini. Milinkovic Savic. I think we have at least one more number card. Speckle. Phil Foden. Nice one for the city spot. Going to the snake. 138 out of 150. There's a Griezmann, more Kama, and Mukoko. That was box number three. The stream is going to happen in due time. We end up keeping a reschedule it because how busy things are around here now. But yeah, it'll be it'll be pretty soon. Something weird there. To not only back in his ace in Milan days. What a thing in the past.
And thank you, YouTube, for a commercial break, I guess. Being sarcastic there. All right, so far it seems like the auto always shows up for the other one. What up, JT? <laughs> How's it going over there, wherever you are? Sure doesn't sneak up on us again. Very anticlimactic. Jeremy Doku. Sue. There's Jude before his move. Well, actually, two full seasons before his move. Victor Osimen. What is this? Gerard PK, Ilanga U23, got Pedri, we have yet to see any uh, any gobbies, we got an auto here, it's a forward and it's a mojo out of 99, green bastoni, or the inter spot 22 out of 99. Justin once again. Are we going to see any reds from this case? There's Paul Bones again. 111 out of 150. Banging out the farm league greats. Not too shabby. Is this? It is not. Oh, Elliot Mataza, wow. Man, I, I remember people, some people chasing this guy's cards like crazy back then. 111 out of 225. How many JTs do we have in this stream, guys? Like three? All right. Can we recognize who this is? I can't. Wait, Jeremy Pino? It is Jeremy Pino. Via Real. Oh, this one's going to clay. Not too shabby. 31 out of 99. I think that was the box. That was box number four. All right. Uh, we seem to be starting strong with the last few group breaks. Hopefully we don't fizzle out. Still had some nice firepower up front though. All right, box number five. Oh, almost full into the next break.
FYI, for whoever is watching, we did drop a group break on the website. It is live, breakfastcards.com or link description down below. 2020, 21, Top Stadium Club Chrome. It's going to be a pretty wild break, but it's as to be expected from uh, the Jude year. Jude, rookie year, Musiala, rookie year, Pedri, rookie year, Kamavinga, rookie year, Doku, rookie year, Robin Burke, Anthony, for what it's worth, for those who still care about Anthony. Who else am I missing? Chavi Simons. What? Absolutely beautiful set. Back before they decided to remove the bleed, and then they brought it back because everyone was complaining. But absolutely magnificent photography in that set. Can't wait to break it. No wrenches in the chat so far. Oh, what is this? What is that? I've never seen that before. I thought this was like a card behind it, but... I guess the Chrome didn't fully make it on this card? You guys ever seen this before? It's like straight up paper and then Chrome. That was really weird. I'm gonna set that one to the side. Show you guys at the very end. All right, Weston McKinney. Pink Mojo. I think this one's going to Old Cozy. 77 out of 275. Wow, that's so close to his jersey number. What? I didn't even know his jersey number was like 7. Wait, is that 74 or is that 14? There's no way it's like 74. That'd be like so random. Yes, Nitty, I agree. eBay, one of one. Maybe even World 1 of 1. Never seen something like that before. Oh, Isak before Newcastle. Is that our auto? It is not. It is just helpful. So Davies, Refractor. Oh, I think I know who this is. I'm not going to say who it is, but I already know who it is just from the glove. I've seen way too many of that card to not know who it is. Oh, Cristiano Ronaldo. Out of 99 going to Manchester United. Hopefully, it is 7. Oh, it's 25 out of 9. We tried. Sure. We tried. Two. Sure. More Pogba. <laughs> More Cristiano Ronaldo there. There's Tonali. Lehaji. And Atomic. Maxon. Maxence. Cacare. Always, always funny names. No offense to the French. 178 out of 250, Atomic. Oliver Skip. Forgot that was his rookie year as well. There's Eric Cantona. Goldside is asking, bro, did you say glove? If it's Luis Diaz, I'm going to cry. I, I hate to break it to you, but it is not Luis Diaz. <laughs> 100%. It is not Luis Diaz. There's Mikel Antonio. Oh, no way! Two renaissances! Mason Mount! Two case hits. What is... Is this normal? I don't think this is normal, guys. Mason Mount going to Johan G. Congratulations. Two renaissance stained glass 
SSP inserts from this case so far. Imagine if we get like five of these in this case. I would not be surprised actually. I've seen I've seen so many things to not be surprised. Wow, look at that. What do you know? Let's put Messi in the middle. Two Renaissance and time for the auto now. Before even revealing the head or the hair, I can tell you they made a very, very beautiful song <laughs> after this guy. Three, two, one. There we go. Jamie Vardy's having a party. Nice one for Andrew. 11 out of 99. Nice, clean Jamie Vardy auto, actually. I've seen a lot of his uh, autos, like either off the sticker or just like a lot of, like too much overlap. This is actually one of the nicer ones. What a G. All right. That was that box. We got two Renaissance so far. What else are we going to see? I seem to be pulling a lot of uh, nicer Chelsea cards lately for some reason. No offense to Chelsea fans, but I do not like Chelsea. <laughs> even when Shevchenko went to Chelsea, I was like, that was like even worse because, you know, he left AC Milan and then he went to Chelsea. I was like, oh man, not this club. And then his career basically died at Chelsea, unfortunately. But money talks. And I think he was also doing it for his kids or something. Like his wife and kids. I think it was like a better situation for them in England or whatever. Somewhat of a challenging pack there. I think after this, we would officially be at the halfway mark. <laughs> Arrows' his OCD is on fire right now. But it really depends on uh, on the pack. Sometimes they're just, I don't know, not rotated the way you want them to be. All right, we got Harvey Elliott. Oh, Declan Rice. This one popped out of nowhere. Yeah, if it's not a numbered auto, it's just going to take us by surprise, honestly. Becky Rice for West Ham, going to David. Love to see it. Got a yellow, Lautaro. 98 out of 225. Guess who hit a numbered card once again? There's Isak, Refractor. McKenny insert. A Declan Rice insert. We got a Speckle coming up. Joao Felix. I think this one 
Going to Clay, 123 out of 150. Thought there was a card stuck to that one. Another Pedri Refractor. There's Paolo Maldini. Curtis Jones. Weston McKinney. Esther Vrank. Vranks. It's a strange last name. Strange last name, relatively speaking, maybe. Maybe to them. It's not a strange last name. Thought that was Pogba once again, but it is Marcus Rashford going to Manchester United. 005, another close one off of being James Bond. Didn't he score a penalty today? Him and uh, Bruno Fernandes? I'm pretty sure. That's what I saw. There's Neymar and ending things off with Hannibal. All right, we've got a lot of higher numbered cards from that box. So far, the two Renaissance have kind of made up for it. Tradiac, sometimes all you have to do is take a step back and just relax and breathe. The world is not going to end. <laughs> all right. So we have a break 99 that hasn't been announced yet. Just wanted to post break 100 before 99. Because break 99 is much smaller than 100 and 100 is a much more special number in terms of uh, break milestones than 99 so I just switched them out says sounds like some number discrimination to me of course Tradiac is throwing out his amazing ideas I think for break 100 you should literally break a box and take a chainsaw to it that would be unique content. That would definitely be unique content for sure, but I don't think it would go far. Or maybe that's just another future video idea. Not live, because I think live videos are treated slightly differently on YouTube. Doodle says, and while you're doing that, you should burn a pile of $100 bills. Yeah, let me call some uh, Pablo Escobar people real quick. They know all about that. All right, what do we got in this one? Lewa. There is the auto. Another one for Lester. Nice one. Going to Andrew. Tradiac says, Dorman team sets arrived today. They were on sale on Fanatics. What year? Is it like the ones in the, the tin or whatever? 90 out of 99. 23, 24, are they still on there? I didn't even know that was a thing. Uh, the team set 
as in like the slightly more convincing boxes compared to like the fan sets. I'm assuming that's what you're talking about. Man, the quality of these Merlin cards is just out of this world. Got a rookie for Man U. Zidane Iqbal. 203 out of 250. Yeah, my bad. I've been pronouncing it wrong this whole time. <laughs> it's definitely Leicester, guys. Leicester City. <laughs> Alright, we got a green mojo. Second green mojo. Soboslai. Dominic Soboslai for RB Leipzig. First numbered card going to Nishi, I think. 54 out of 99. Any juice left in this box? There's Mbappe. Prophecy fulfilled. We might see this guy in Real Madrid pretty soon. Saga has been going on for, I feel like, three years now. On and off, on and off, on and off. Did you say fan sets were $2.99? Those boxes were like $2.99 or like pounds. Even pounds, that's like dirt cheap, basically. Retail Wax Kings is asking, how much are these boxes? These are anywhere between like 175 to like 185 bucks. idea what the match ball is going to be because those are one per case as well actually from what i remember from the set whatever box had a match ball also had a renaissance so are we going to see three renaissance case hits that'd be pretty wacky This is the pack that we were just talking about. So I guess that upside down box, I mean, it could still have some crazy stuff in it, but you never know. I really, really thought that was gonna be, maybe this case has like multiple case hits in it. Maybe we get two match balls, who knows? All right, Carter Vickers. We have our first Aqua Verratti. Can't believe that was the first Aqua, actually. I feel like we got, so how it is now, we have way more greens than we do pink mojos, which kind of doesn't make sense because of the numbering. 
But hey, we are not complaining. Johan says he needs a Jorginho patch or match ball, I'm guessing. Does he have a match ball in this? Or maybe you're just talking in general. There's Jor Jorginho Refractor. Oh, there's Gavi. Pablo Gavira. Refractor. Let's put him with the refractor pile over there. The special refractor pile. There is the Bala. Prophecy, or not prophecy fulfilled. Ageless Alchemy. Thomas Muller. Highest IQ in the game. I don't want to say ever, but top three, top five. There's Cristiano Ronaldo. Refractor. It's going to go to the special refractor pile. They're all going to get sleeved anyway. Oh, that was a Gavi variation? Actually? No, it doesn't look like it. <laughs> Unless it's Cristiano Ronaldo's also variation. Yeah, I don't think I think the variation looks a little different. I think this is his like regular, I'm pretty sure. Unless they didn't really change the back of the card for this set. I actually it's been a while, I actually don't remember. But yeah, all of these 579, 579, 579. We got a blue for Lil. Is this going to be Jonathan David? I don't know. Let's find out. It is not Jonathan David. It is Isak Lihaji, a rookie. Our first blue, 27 out of 75. All righty. What is this match ball going to be? All right, guys. Actually, let me get... I don't know if I have a big enough sleeve for this. Gonna try to be very gentle with this one. Because it is a thicker card. All right, which way is it facing? It's facing this way. So, good luck, everyone. Match ball auto. Three, two, one. Ooh, Serge Gnabry for Bayern Munich. Nice match ball case hit. Look at how thick this bad boy is. Let me just show you guys the back. Nice one going to Andrew. Andrew's got to hit at least something. Every single case break. Oh, okay. All right. So this one fit in the sleeve, which I had to kind of cut earlier. But I don't, I don't think I have a big enough top loader for this. Where did I put it? Not a really big one earlier. Where'd it go? Okay, I don't know if it'll fit this one. It might. Oh, love to see it. All right. Man, I only had like one of these sitting around. There we go. Perfect. I think this was... So this is typically like 280? 240 to 280? Good old Serge Gnabry. All right, where are we gonna put this one? Uh, let's make some room over here. Have him join the wall. Are we gonna see another one? I don't know, let's find out. Are we gonna see another Renaissance? Might as well see three from this case. There goes another ad break.
All right, guys. Did we ever get a confirmation on that uh, the Gavi? I'm pretty sure it's his regular one. Ian says his regular is front facing and blue red kit. Man, hold on guys. I almost want to look that up. I'm, I'm like way too curious not to look at it. I feel like I've seen it before, but I can't remember what it looks like. All right. Uh, Gavi. That's right. Yeah, I haven't seen that picture in a while. There is a variation. Why does it have the same number on the back? That's so weird. Yeah, because I've like seen those before in like orange. Like an orange refractor of this, like in a PSA 10 or whatever, and it just like looked really sick, so I don't know. That is very, very weird. Got a variation for the Barsa spot. Thanks for the heads up. <laughs> for example, I'll look it up. What is it? It's all good, man. We looked it up. If you do want to look something up, though, something else, if you can find uh, what the, the number on the back of the variation for Merlin looks like, because I think the non-variations all... Oh, we have a red, ladies and gentlemen. We have a red. Red incoming, gonna let that one marinate. Chris is asking, where do you order your cases from? Honestly, wherever we find it, the cheapest or most affordable or least, or most headache free, I should say. Sometimes you can't get all of them all at once, but. Oh, Ferg says it isn't on the checklist. So maybe it's just the image. They maybe for the first time they didn't like have a variation number like being different on the back. Alrighty guys. Wait, we have two reds? What is this? We have two reds from the same box. That is absolutely insane. That one might be an auto. That red might be an auto. So we have a red out of 10 and then we have a red wave out of five. Imagine just having this box as like a personal rip on your own and then you just open it and you get two reds. How crazy is that? Are we gonna get a super fractor as well? Can we do it? We got Yuri Tillemans, so maybe the other one is just a red out of 10. That's wild. Three Leicester autographs. That is insane. Leicester, my bad. It's Leicester, <laughs> Leicester City. We got a Vardy, Barnes, and Tillemans. Oh, we got a, another Aqua. A rookie for... Barcelona, Ilias Akumach, 57 out of 199. 
second aqua of the break. Man, that red wave is gonna look gorgeous. Whatever it is, red waves look amazing. There's Donnarumma, Pedri, U23, Adiemi. Stevie G. More U23. Berg says normally the back software collector is another way to identify variation of the because of the In this case, the codes are the same for the base and variation, so you must refer to the photo. Okay. Thanks for providing that little piece of very essential <laughs> information. All right. Manuel Locatelli for the. Event to spot 45 out of 275. Don't forget, guys, we have a red out of 10 coming up and a red wave out of 5. Man, if it's a Mo Salah, that would be such an insane color match. I've seen one of those before, but I think I've only seen one. Imagine if it's also. Wait, what Chase rookies? It could be a Sheshko. Sheshko would be pretty, pretty sick as a red. All right. Obviously, we're going to do the red first since it's numbered out of 10. Wow. Imagine just buying a single box and getting like two of these in there. That's wild. All right, guys. You ready? Are you ready for this? It's flipped. Champions League. Midfielder. It is a color match. We saw this card earlier. Oh my god. Wow. Hannibal, red refractor for Manchester United. Rookie. Bang, bang, bang. Abdul Wahab, congratulations. 0-1 oh, out of 10. Look at that sick palindrome. Look at that. That is wild. Woo! What a beauty. Let's put that one over here. All right, what is the red wave going to be? Obviously, out of five, it is flipped. Oh, it's going to be another color match. It's going to be another color match. Ladies and gentlemen, Europa League. Oh, wait, who is that? I have no idea who this is. Three, two, one. Sofian Diop for Monaco, two out of five. Going to Ruben. Look at that beauty. Congratulations, guys. Two very, very low numbered cards from the same box. Imagine if it was a CR7, that would have been insane. There it is, guys. Let's put this one over here. Can we see a Super Fractor? We still have three boxes left. I don't know why. Um, I have a feeling we might see another case hit, but you never know since that box was flipped inside the case. Do not want to put these refractors with the base. Don't want to do that. <laughs> Trade X is like more like breakfast. Yes, thank you. Thank you very much. Victor says, another Man United spots. I don't buy another banger. Sorry to hear, man. Sometimes that's just how it goes. It's honestly happened to me too, like in the past with like breaks. Too many times for my liking, man. Just way too many times. 
It's like the moment, the moment you stop and then something is pulled that you're after or like a banger or whatever. Yeah, it's a very, very specific feeling. All right, Jake says, time for Man City hit. I think we started off with that Cole Palmer and we haven't seen anything else after that. Maybe Phil Foden, I think. Berg says, happened to big homie with Foden. That is correct. I mean, he still hit a uh, cracked dice before that, but it's not the same. Doodle's asking, favorite hit so far? Man, it's got to be the Messi Renaissance. Absolutely. Third pack in, Messi Renaissance. The reds are really nice too, I'm not going to lie. So those are probably second favorites. Chris is asking, why is Dorman so expensive in your next break? Because it is the Jude Bellingham rookie year. And he's got a variation, he's got a variation auto, in addition to his base. And then of course, Erling Holland has uh, base cards as well. Mukoko has a rookie card. So that's kind of the biggest part of that as a given. Thanks, Doodle. Just up, up, up and away from here. So if you're just now joining guys, what Chris was referring to is our latest uh, group break that we just dropped on the website for a case of 12 hobby boxes of Stadium Club Chrome 2020. Wait, is this autograph? It's not an autograph. 2020 21 Stadium Club Chrome. It's now on the website, breakfastcards.com, or link in the description down below. Not for the faint of heart, but it's definitely an older product. It deserves a lot of work and deserves a lot of eyes on it, that's for sure. Green. Delete. Matisse Delete. 17 out of 99. Another one for Justin. Really, really hoping to see a super factor from this case because then it would make it complete. course we all know how extremely rare those are <laughs> for some reason i saw that blue shimmer i was like oh my god we got a blue shimmer <laughs> but i remember blue shimmers and or tops are very very different oh nice color match pretty sick actually harvey barnes blue shimmer out of 75 56 out of 75 going to andrew once again got his auto earlier and now we have his blue shimmer parallel For Roma, Abrima Darboe, 50 out of 99. There's Shoratire, different color for the hair compared to Hannibal. There's Trevor Chaloba. Henrik Larsson and Elio Matazzo. Vanderson and time for the autograph. I could not stress how amazing these cards feel, guys. Merlin is just on a completely different level of chrome card quality. All right, red team autograph. D 
Defense. Is this going to be Bayern Munich? Can we guess the player? Connor Bradley. Wow, look at that. <laughs> For Liverpool, rookie Connor Bradley. Wow. There we go. <laughs> Jacob was talking about this one in the Discord. He called it. Nice one. Very nice. We ran out of stands to put this on. I think we're going to have to swap this one out for something else. Do we? I don't know. I'm trying to decide. Okay, let's just, since this one's just the base, let's put that one over there. Can't really see it now, but you guys get the idea. All right, love to see it. That one is a little bit more special because it was called out before the break started. So <laughs> there we go, guys. There we go. Obviously, we're keeping the flipped box to the end because hopefully there's something special sleeping in there. Yeah, Jacob, it, it sounds like what happened to, to Cavi last time. That was actually super crazy because it was like down to the last box. And then we finally hit that gold RVP auto form. Can't make this stuff up. All right, now that we have more space, we can do this. Yeah, honestly, that was like the least, or not the least, that was like, I wasn't even thinking like Liverpool Auto at all. And then boom. This guy's like, hello, my name's Connor Bradley. Hey, did I just see what I thought I saw? Some stuff what are we gonna see before this break ends besides the super fracture we're hoping to see another renaissance case that we did like however long ago this I don't remember it being as good as this one definitely glad I jumped on this all right some good old Matteo Piscina once again or Atalanta 270 out of 275 Also, if you guys are interested in any uh, any hobby boxes or any retail boxes, we do have a list up on the Discord available for personal rips, live stream, or just you know shipping directly to you. So definitely check it out if you're part of the Discord. If not, then join it using the link in the description down below. We've got a really big, awesome community. People come in with their questions about the hobby or just sharing their experiences, their hits, which, you know, especially those, we love to see people's crazy cards. There's Sadio Mane. Then we have Fantasy Premier League Talk, 66 out of 150. And almost everything you could think of uh, related to the hobby or soccer or some variation of it.
I'm surprised we haven't gotten any uh, like insert autos. All right, there's Nico Gonzalez. There's Kalidu Kulibali for Napoli. Is this one also going to Justin? Who grabbed the Napoli spots? I'm trying to find it here. No, it's going to Old Cozy. I think this might be the only Napoli auto on the checklist. Oh, Harry Kane popped off today. For Bayern Munich, of course, but... I'm really, really hoping he's going to beat Lewandowski's goal-scoring record in a single Bundesliga season. I think the record is 41. I believe in this guy. He's got plenty of games, and I think he can do it over and over and over again. If he's not going to win trophies, he better break all, all sorts of records. There he is again. Refractor. Leo and Messi. All right. There's Hannibal. There's Gerard Piquet. Jorginho. Mateo Piscina. And that is going to be box number 19. Or not 19. What am I talking about? Box number 11. The case has 12 boxes only, guys. Don't forget. A case of hobby, usually. Whether it's Panini or... Tops. All right, last but not least, we took this box out like this in the case. I don't know why it was flipped. Hopefully there's something special in it. If not, then maybe it was just a good old-fashioned mistake from packaging or manufacturing or production, whatever you want to call it. We are hoping to see something wild in this box. Mr. Pops is asking, what box would you recommend for around 200 bucks that I could possibly make a return on? Honestly, <clears throat> almost all boxes, you know, if you're thinking about it in terms of like the most I can make a return on, they're all basically going to be ballpark the same because um, you really don't know like what's going to be in the box. So, I mean, if you're trying to have fun, as well as like make some sort of return, I guess maybe you can put it that way. Then you would just kind of find which box is the most enjoyable. Um, well, yeah, I mean, in terms of return, that's a really, really tough thing to kind of gauge out, especially on the fly like this. But for around 200 bucks, I mean, you have this year's uh, Stadium Club Chrome, so 2022, 23 Stadium Club Chrome. Uh, you also have Top's Finest. Uh, Top's Finest from like 21, 22 is relatively cheap or cheaper. Uh, we have a couple of those as well. Um, those have two autographs in them. So, I mean, if you like the feeling of pulling an autograph, then it's definitely for you. Uh, this year's Top's Finest is very, very um, diverse as well. I'm just trying to think of like all the boxes around like 200 bucks. Uh, there is... I was going to say 2021, 22 equal prison, but in terms of return, since you asked specifically about a return, that's a really rough product, but it does have a pretty high ceiling. But return for that set is pretty rough. I'm trying to think of anything else. There's probably a lot. I mean, if you, if you watch um, or if you search Top Soccer Cards uh, 2023 or something on YouTube, I don't know if you've seen it or not. We made a video of all the like top rated sets. So that might kind of help you a little bit with like, cause there's like an overall value category. So I think that would put you in the right, or at least put you in the, at the right starting point. All right guys, what are we gonna see from this? Strange, strange last box here. I'm 
Mr. Pope's asking, would you say that the Three Leagues Chronicles box is good? I know that it has like three hits in it. I mean, it has more than, I mean, by hits. Yeah, so <clears throat> it doesn't have three autos. You could get one auto and two patches, or you can get two autos, one patch. It's really, really rare to get three patches or three autos, but it does happen. But it's extremely rare. Uh, then you have other like numbered cards in them as well. So Chronicle is actually really nice. Like Panini wise, I think that was one of the one of the better sets that came out last year. Oh man, for a split second I thought this was a super factor. It was just a yellow wave. Giannis Hagi. Or Rangers. <clears throat> is this is the first number card for Rangers. We get in this entire case. I think so. 31 out of 225. All right, looks like we have a green as well. Hopefully the auto doesn't sneak up on us because I want to keep that one proper reveal to the very, very end. There's Michael Laudrup, Mikhail Laudrup. All right, I have a feeling. All right, I thought that was going to be an auto. Good thing it's not. Chris Lynn Matsima. Is this oh Barcelona rookie auto? Wait, Barcelona rookie auto. I don't think Gavi had autos in this set, unfortunately. All right, that's our third Ogba numbered card, I think, for Man U. Yeah, no problem, Mr. Pops. 70 out of 99. Hopefully, you find the box that you can actually enjoy and actually have some sort of return on. There's Moose. There's Messi. Prophecy fulfilled once again. There's another moose. We have Mukoko. We have an Aqua coming up for Bayern in Munich. It's going to be a rookie. Josip Stanisic. 146 out of 199. Alrighty. We're going to do a recap here in a sec, guys. Shauna. Shauna Matata. Marcus Rashford. There's Alfredo Morelos. Lautaro, and time for the autograph. Our last autograph of the box. Unfortunately, no super fractors in this case, but we did get two case hits. Actually, we got three case hits, but we got one more than we thought we were going to get. I was really hoping we were going to see three Renaissance. Well, you can only hope for so much. All right, Barcelona rookie autograph. Oh, we know who this is. Your boy Balde. Rookie autograph for Barcelona, unfortunately. You might have to reach out to Tops about this one. I'm trying to show it on the screen. He's got like a little... Sometimes it happens with like Tops autos, I've noticed. Can't say I've seen that exact pattern from Panini. Oh, there we go. I think that's the first auto for Super Nino. Congrats. And time for the recap, guys. All right. In terms, well, let's start with the Gavi Vera. Well, actually, let's do that one at the end. Let's not do that right now. All right, so just regular refractor slash inserts of goats slash chase rookies from these, Truomeni and Matisse Tell, for what it's worth. And then we had this like a little interesting card that this entire side is not chromed. I've never seen this before and then the rest is chrome. So this paper part, like kind of missed it. Missed the chrome memo. Something interesting that I would share with you guys. And all right, what is the highest numbered card? Is it gonna be pink? Pink Mojo. Out of 275, we got Piscina, Logatelli, Rashford, McKenney. Then we have the yellow waves. Giannis Hagi. Lautaro, Matazo, Elanga, Rookie, and Awar. What is after that? Is it going to be the Speckles? Oh no, I think actually this should have been before the yellow. These are out of 250. 
Zidane Iqbal, rookie. Kakare, <laughs> Havertz. Oh, that is just too fun to, to not try to pronounce like that. All right. And then out of 150, let me actually see the Aquas. Yeah, the Aquas are numbered higher. Aquas out of 199. Stanisic, Harold Kane, as Ferg would say, Ilias Akumac, and Marco Verratti. And for the Speckles, we have Sadio Mane, Joel Felix, Paul Pogba, Phil Foden, and Cole Palmer, rookie. Nice one there. And Vanderson. And we have Greens. Let me split them into mojos and non-mojos. So Green Mojo, Dominic Soboslai, Lodi, CR7, and Hannibal Rookie. And then the regular Greens, Nicola Zaniolo, Bastoni, Pogba, our boy, and Control I'll Delete. And we have one blue and one blue shimmer, Lee Haji and Barnes. This one looks pretty sick. Let's move these off to the side. And for autographs, Captain Cat, welcome to the chat. Yes, someone did call the Connor Bradley. We were talking about that earlier. All right, so we have um, Balde, Kulabali, Tillemans, Barnes, Rice, and then we have Martin or Martin, assuming he's from France or somewhere like that. Pessina, and then we have Jamie Vardy and Jeremy Pino. You can barely read his name. You got to kind of recognize him by his face, uh, or you can just flip it to the back. <laughs> Uh, both out of 99 and then we had these two autos we had a base rookie Connor Bradley like we said this one was called in the discord before the break even started Eduardo Camavinga out of 99 nice one for Real Madrid and we had the match ball Serge Gnabry for Bayern Munich and we had these two. This one popped up in the very, very first box, pack number three, and then this one also popped up later on. Unfortunately, neither are numbered. We we're hoping to see one numbered at least. But hey, you're only supposed to get like one per case, so we got two. So nice one there. Absolutely love the messy. And our two lowest numbered cards, our rarest cards, we have a nice, insane color match, Hannibal, Red Refractor, a rookie for Man U, and a great palindrome there, 0110. Then we have two out of five, Diop for Monaco. So that is gonna be the break, guys. If you wanna join any, if you wanna join any future group breaks, we do have one live on the website right now. It's from the 2020 to 21 Top Stadium Club Chrome uh, UEFA set. And yeah, that's gonna be the uh, rookie year for Jude Bellingham. Mukoko, Musiala, Xavi Simons, uh, and a lot of bunch of other ones. I can't really think of all of them right now, but uh, there are a lot of nice spots. And there's that classic Cristiano Ronaldo like C picture. <laughs> so that's definitely in the Juventus spot. Messi has autos. Um, I believe in that set he's Barcelona still. So that's like really nice for Barca fans. Neymar has autos. Um, Mbappe has a like little eraser hair color slash haircut kind of thing. So absolutely love that set. So if you want to check it out, definitely go to breakfastcards.com. But in terms of reviews and videos and giveaways, um, we are going to do another reroll of the 10K giveaway because there's still two prizes that haven't been claimed. Uh, probably going to do that tomorrow. I don't know if there's going to be enough time today, unfortunately. Sorry, guys. I know the day before I said yesterday or I said today. So it might just have to be Sunday. And uh, what else? We have one more boom box. Uh, hopefully we get lucky in that one. And yeah, next week is going to be filled with other reviews as well. And if you want to, again, join the Discord community. A lot of friendly people, a lot of awesome people in it. Link is description down below or just follow us on Instagram as well. And yeah, we are running personals and uh, have some boxes. Uh, if you do want to purchase some and rip on your own. Feel free to send us a message on whatever platform is, you know, makes most sense to you. Even email. We also do email, guys. So don't, if you don't have any social media, send us an email. But thanks, everyone, who joined the break, guys. Can't do this without you guys. Uh, thanks for all the support, as always. Uh, I feel like I missed a few messages here before I go. Let me just catch up. Andrew says, the way I missed pulling 
three Lester autos because they didn't see the break started. Oh, <laughs> all right. So probably joined midstream and they didn't see it. Well, it must have been a nice, pleasant sur surprise. Salty Sideswipe <laughs> says, which prize are... I think the, the two prizes that weren't claimed are the uh, Pedri and KDB dual auto dual patch and then the Hobby Box, the 2023 Prism EPL Hobby Box was not claimed, so... All right, you're welcome, Johan. Appreciate the sub. And yeah, guys, have a great rest of your uh, evening, afternoon, morning, night, wherever you are in the world. And have a great rest of your weekend. And as always, we'll see you in the next one.